we've been trying always to do this in a horizontal pattern. What if we could kind of find a way to twist it and turn it in a vertical and bring it into the city? Um, so this started from the idea that streets were our fundamental uh, community space, uh, probably 30, 40 years back still. And people really came to the streets and used it as uh, a celebratory zone. Right? And there are a lot of interactions that happened on a street. People, kids used to enjoy it. I, I used to be like that when I grew up with one TV in the entire fam, in the entire street, put on the road so that you could watch certain Malgudi days episodes. But when we come to the uh, urban environment, we have a lot more people living together, but we are trying, we are actually drifting apart. We don't really interact with our neighbors. We just close our doors, go into the elevator, don't talk to anybody. It's kind of an uneasy, um, um, uh, closeness that we are having with our neighbors in these vertical communities. So what if, instead of being apart, we bring people together? So we call this project Together Men's instead of Apartments. And that is an uh, um, idea of living that we are trying to say brings the rural into the urban. So kind of take the horizontal village streets and flip it vertically to make it part of the building. And then infuse it with a lot of programs so that you don't build a separate clubhouse. You actually make people walk and experience this on an everyday basis in as casual and natural way as possible. And we did this extensive mapping of different people, different times, different age groups at different levels. How do you bring them together? Because interaction is the key to make something like this successful. And interac interaction across age groups, not just kids all in one zone, old people in one zone. That doesn't work. Uh, in, a, in a natural way. So uh, a section that kind of modifies and um, codes itself to actually allow for all of this to happen together. We have given all kinds of different programs. There's a lot of logic that went into thinking which goes into what, why these two should come together and across levels. So there's a bit of a computer-aided thinking that happened along with it. Um, that's a kind of an initial uh, idea of how this whole central space would be along with vertical landscape and even the uh, vertical gardens or productive gardens because that's part of the spirit which uh, um, we do our own greens. Um, the ground floor, the mid-levels where children, toddlers, um, adults, everybody are put together. So you could connect from one level to another. From the elevator, whenever you step out on every level, it's going to be a different experience because that's one thing that we miss today. The difference between somebody on the fifth floor and the tenth floor is just an elevator button because they are exactly the same experiences, exactly the same materials, exactly the same wall finish. What is it that you are creating new? How do you expect people to interact in an environment like that? Um, even if you had to put a, a, a swing, what if it was an interactive swing? So that's how our thought process was uh, when we were building this. And rock climbing that's next to a football on the eighth floor and you would come out and say hi to your uh, child before you entered your uh, unit on the 10th floor. So it completely changes the way people would start interact. And it's not anymore a clubhouse or a segregated uh, amenity. Um, and as you go up, it becomes more and more fresh air. So uh, the gym, the relaxing areas happen there with a lot of oxygen, oxygen generating um, uh, landscape and vertical farm. Um, the gym is open to the roof and the roof itself is actually a plethora of act activities happening on it with terrace gardens and solar panels. Um, the units themselves in Hyderabad have a lot of issues. You know, you can only do as rectangle. So we try to innovate within that as much as possible to bring in the right amount of sunlight and use that filtering system as a landscape itself. So within your own room, when you look out, you're having these screens and we are doing a lot of engineering behind it. And the screens are made out of plants that actually shade uh, and you can just uh, access it from inside and you know you grow whatever you want in it. Uh, that's the overall building. Um, as of today, it's on the 10th floor, so we are still fairly behind uh, in completing and showing a finished image to you. So this is how we are imagining our, our urban ideas of trying to merge th thinking from a rural uh, sensibility and an urban sensibility and trying to see what other new typologies can be generated.